I'm replacing the inner manifold water jacket in this six cylinder and I buy new ones because you can still get them and I have never had any luck surfacing an old one and having it not leak. I'm a salt water guy. The next thing I use the manual which applies to the engine and I get the torque specs in the back of the book. I do not recommend other manufacturers books or, or other books period because they may get the information wrong and who cares as far as they're concerned so you do want to use Mercury's uh, manuals. I cleaned the screws they're number five grade you don't want to use anybody else's and you don't want to go to longer screws. I ordered a bunch and they were an eighth of an inch longer and there's crap in the bottom of these even you can't even clean out and I don't want this plate to leak because it's very critical and it's hard to see that it's doing it and it can cause all kinds of problems so to replace the resin weld which no longer is available I used a, another epoxy um, I used Goujon Brothers 1 to 5 and that's what I'm going to use to put this thing together so I'm going to paint the uh, paint the bolts up, set them on their back because I do not want any uh, epoxy to get into the block so it gives me a false torque reading because this is a, like I say, a very critical, uh, very critical inner water jacket. All the bolts with an epoxy, which is the nearest estimation of to the HB Fuller Reser Well that Mercury originally recommended, which is no longer available. And they tell you to let them sit. I think the reason is so that the epoxy will not run down into the hole before the bolt starts tightening up and cause a problem when you get a, a miss a mist torque. I have cleaned out all these holes, uh, blown them out with air, and um, I have made sure that the surface is very, very clean. And I am putting on, as I said, a new cover, brand new, still available for mercury. So I'm going to line up the gaskets. Put it in. And any time you're doing these things, they want you to torque them from the inside out. So you basically start in the middle and move out that way. Uh, they've got a torque sequence in the book. So I had these sitting for quite a while, so I'm going to start putting them in by hand. Wind them in a few threads, make sure that everything works. And get them in a little bit so that they Epoxy doesn't dribble down into the hole. There's 23 of them. So you got some a fair amount of torquing to do. As I say, this is a very critical uh, manifold. It's not visible. The only way you can tell if it's leaking is if you get water in the carburetor, and that can happen. Um, I mean, you get water in your gas, and you might think that's what the problem is, when in fact it's le this thing leaking. So it's a good idea to make sure that you've got a good cover. And I have never had any luck with surfacing them on a surfacing plate and then having them work. For some reason, they get torqued. I tried it two or three times back in the old days when these things were current, and I wasn't very happy with the results, to be honest. Now bringing them up to torque. Start in the middle.
Yeah. It's in. Done. Epoxy.